hey guys welcome back <laughs> don't forget to comment like and subscribe the usual okay so i got to watch the renaissance film and i loved it i loved it i did <laughs> That was um, three hours of my life <laughs> that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, shout out to Beyonce, Parkwood, everybody who made that film. Um, it centered the it centered the show, so I felt like we got to see the tour without actually being there. We got to see everything, high definition, see all the costumes, costume changes, everything. Loved it. Loved um, the show part of it. Sang along. Every time she would say, now you sing, I would sing. <laughs> I was in a relatively empty theater. Um, I'm sure these are the last few days of the film being in in theater. So it was it was okay. Like No one was next to me. No one was being distracted by my singing. Not that I would think anyone would be. There was about like maybe 10, 15 people. Um, when I booked the seat initially, I thought it was just gonna be me, me and one other person. But it was actually, ended up being a little bit of a good crowd. The film had basically four, I think four or five main stories. Obviously, there was um, the whole concept of ballroom. There was a very clear section and homage to the ballroom culture. There was also, um, the LGBTQ uh, community and a real conversation about Uncle Johnny and who he was in Beyonce's life and then there was the, the business of it how big the stage is how big the production is how costly how involving the production is that part is what made me like have so much respect can you imagine having something on your back that is worth hundreds of millions of dollars and also so many people's livelihood like Beyonce could not afford to have anything wrong go with go on with her during this tour because so many people were eating off of this production that she was putting on great job so inspiring um, obviously there was a conversation about Blue Ivy and her performing family Houston um, the Houston show, seeing Meg Thee Stallion on the stage, that was so much fun. And then there was a shout out to the Beehive um, and so much love shown to the Beehive. So those are basically like the little bit of the behind the scenes that you got to see besides the actual music and how good the music is and how good the tour is and how good the production is. I wanted to say shout out to Kendrick Lamar. That man is a rapper, but when he is next to Beyonce, his stage presence is out of this world. You know, I feel like you have to have good stage presence when you're, when you're next to a performer like Beyonce. And, you know, hip-hop artists are not always credited with having that. But Kendrick, every single time he performs with B, I'm like, I watch their performances over and over and over again. I just enjoy them as a duet. They have great chemistry. Please, more music together, the two of them. Um, but yeah, that's it about uh, Renaissance. I think I might eventually buy it and watch it like as a comfort show because I love the album so much. Like I absolutely love the body of work, the actual music. So I can see myself buying digital copy of the film and just watching it anytime every time all the time <laughs> i'm not sure if i'll do that because i don't sit down and watch things that often but if i if i did it would be that because i enjoyed it that much yep
Sherpa, the hoodie is detachable, which is exactly what I need because at work we're not allowed to wear hoodies. But everybody loves a good hoodie. I never got the allure of completely black sunglasses, but now that I'm wearing them, I get what they do for people. And I, I never used to understand what people say, I have to have my sunglasses on. But they just make you feel so confident and i don't know a little bit of invisibility but it's not it's not enough because you're seeing the world and obviously you cannot honestly perceive without thinking you're not being perceived either however um it does cover half your face and and I love them. These are, I just got these in the mail. I bought them a few weeks ago. And I love them. I think they're a little bit extra. Definitely need bigger hair, but whatever. They fit perfectly. Never trust a size guide. Okay. Huh? Guys, it's finally like a little bit white outside. Hey, baby. And it's sunny too, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, finally we get something to wake up to. Did you carry your other glasses? Yes, in the pocket. I'm trying to avoid never getting LASIK. <laughs> so, you should have. Having <laughs> two pairs of glasses. <laughs> That's funny. Me. You were, were, were already I was running, to, right? I was to take Did a you see yourself already you running? Know, I was laughing because you were just following me. <laughs> I'm so used to you! <laughs> I was telling him that whenever I walk with him. I like it. Very large. I like it. I like it very much. I'm not gonna lie. It's minimal. Uh, everything. Yeah. Like, can you imagine they don't have uh, a mirror? Oh, okay. Cold and thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's one or the other? No, you can pick up okay. one. This is how much I'm not a soda drinker. I still have this. Oh wow. Wait, where is that from? It's the one I hear in the river. Oh, okay, okay. You remember I told you about it? Mm-hmm. And we told you it doesn't matter. What's last week? What was last week? No, it's been weeks. I mean... It was New Year's, was it not? It's been a while. What are you talking about? That's welly. No. No, you're saying give it to me. What well, you're saying I feel like going and delivering it. Yeah, it was that. Wow. Yeah, we're joining with us. I've gone so many times that. No, you're right. Really... It was a Christian song, so it was last week, baby.